everyone. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We're going to tie a classic Prince nymph with a bit of a twist. We're going to use wire as the main body instead of just some peacock curl. Uh, it's going to be kind of a half Prince nymph, half Copper John. And we're going to play with some fun colors for steelhead. So this is a U202 in a size 10 with a 532nd speed. You can use tungsten or brass. I got some 0.015 wire in there holding the bead in and we're using some six aught in black so just start your thread right at the at the lead there i did about mm, 10 wraps 12 wraps there we're not building up a body with thread on this one so don't worry about getting too crazy um, big thing if you haven't played with biots before there's a few tricks and we're going to show you some of those today number one on the back end for your tail, build up a little bit of a, a thread ball. And that's gonna help splay those out. Uh, we're gonna use black biots for this. For the tail here, just pick two, tear them out. That might pull the whole thing apart, but trim them. And what you wanna do they have a direction. See how it curves to the this direction? I want to match those two curvatures together. Oops, try not to drop them. Match them so they're opposing. See how they splay out that way? That's great, okay. Get those aligned. The butt sections do not need to be aligned, but the tail, the tips need to be very close. And this is very much a guess and check in terms of guessing how long you want these to be. You know, different tires like different things. But I'm gonna lay those down and do a pin trap. I'm gonna do two wraps and they don't look great, but what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wrap towards that thread bump we created. And there you, with some thread tension, are gonna splay right out just the way I want them to. See that? Now we're tying this for steelhead, which means in my mind, we're tying this to be thrown into the wood, which means also I'm not gonna spend tons and tons and tons of time making this fly. Perfect, you can do that if you so choose. Big thing here, I'm bringing the thread back from the lead wire. This is gonna stand, this is gonna serve as kind of a a really helpful placeholder for our wire, but I need to start the wire a little bit further back. We're gonna use some large ultra wire in blue and silver. And I've been using my trusty wire cutters because a straight edge on these is gonna save the day. If you're trying to twist these or pull them and get the perfect edge, it's just not gonna happen. So try and get everything lined up. And what I want is two of the same color and one of the opposing color. And that'll really help color block this nymph. All right. Now, just like we do on a lot of nymphs, I'm gonna start with a lot of excess. But because I brought my thread back here, I can use the thread tension to get those perfectly lined up with the lead. See that? Now we don't have to worry about building any transition. All right, we're just gonna wrap back on this. You may be tempted to use some heavier thread here, but you're gonna see at the very end, a heavier thread is not your friend. Okay. Bring in your cradle. We're gonna use this rotary function on the Renzetti. Big thing here when I'm setting all these up, I want, remember this opposition color to be separate from the two solid colors. And that's the way I wanna start wrapping it. Getting this started is kind of a pain sometimes, I'll be honest. But once you get going, it's not so bad. and you gotta really work it. It's gonna jump around. This wire is very thick. 
It's not super easy to work with, but man, does it make a really good looking fly. Okay, just a few short wraps later, we can get the cradle out of the way. Wrap on top, wrap in front, wrap on top, wrap in front. You could, I see my tail's got a little goofed up, that's okay. You can use your wire cutters here, but a much cleaner way is to pick out each individual strand and use that helicopter method we've been using. And man, does that make a nice, clean fly. All right, we're just gonna grab some peacock curl. Fly this size, I'll use two or three strands it's the good stuff there we go don't be afraid to wrap back on the wire just a little bit give your peacock curl a little twist they'll help it stay together And I'm gonna tie this off before I get all the way to the bead. I need some space up there to finish this off. You could fish it like this. This would work great. You'd catch fish doing it, pretty much guaranteed. But we're gonna come back and grab some more biots. I'm sticking with the black on this one. There's a lot of fun colors out there. I've been tying some in pink tonight for those really cold winter days. For some reason, they like pink. All right, there now there's some tricks here that you're gonna have to figure out. So, in the standard print stamp, there's two biots that come off as wings, usually a white. Um, we're gonna stick with black though tonight. And what needs to happen, I'll try and show you here, to hold the tips. I'm just trying to get a general length out of this. I'm gonna bring my scissor in. I'm gonna rust the bottom part of the blade up against the bead and trim. And that's gonna give you an angle. And it's gonna sit right against the bead. Do the same thing, the other side. and get them pretty close. Perfect. All right, minimize your wraps here. Minimize your wraps, remember. Okay, and we're gonna finish this off. Again, you could be done here. Build up a nice thread behind, thread kind of head behind the, the bead there. We're gonna finish this with a little bit of CDC because Peacock curl and CDC catch fish, plain and simple. This is a done CDC feather. We're gonna tie it in by the tip. Just two wraps on top, one in front. We're just gonna do this manually because we wanna minimize thread wraps. I'm just gonna go one and a half wraps there before we start tying this in. Comb this out. Finish that up. Grab your whip finisher. five turn whip finish there and I'll finish it off with some head cement that's it that's the hot wire prints real simple 
with a little bit of CDC for a hackle, kind of a soft hackle prints, slash copper john, call it what you want. Uh, it catches fish and it's fun to tie. Tons of different colors, play with this. Leave us some comments and questions if you, if you have any. Um, if you have not subscribed already, please do. There's a button in the upper corner. Happy tying, hope to see you out there on the water.